Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We've got new Centurions icons and new Centurions promo cards coming today with Team 2. And what I want to look at is how hype will today be? Will this be a hype Friday like last week was with a crazy content release of the evolutions for the best evolutions we've seen yet this year? The box to box and the sharpshooter really crashing the market. Let's be honest. We looked back on the market this past week and it was last Friday. That was a crazy content day with everything that went on. Will today live up to the same hype or will it not be as good? There is one SBC today that we have to keep our eye on and I'll mention that a lot in today's video. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. One one thing I'm going to point out right away is I am recording this video early. So I, if there's any leaks that happen, I may be missing out on a couple of those or a couple pieces of information. But for the most part, we kind of have an idea of what's going to happen today. We already have a lot of leaks, so we're going to look at those in today's video. And really quickly before we get into that, we got to take a look at the brand new season. That was the biggest part of yesterday's content. Uh, this season is short, guys. Only 20 days. This is going to take us up to basically right before Black Friday, which makes sense why EA would maybe want to end the season a little bit earlier. This might have been the way that it went last year as well, if I remember correctly. But uh, we have some nice packs inside of the season here. I like the Movember stuff. That's kind of cool just for the fun of it. Um, and also some okay players. Um, we've got the nice kind of guys. It's like there's a pattern here. I don't know if you noticed. Three Premier League players, three La Liga, and three Serie A. And they all get links uh, together, they have all the same nationality inside of the league. So you got three Belgians, three Dutch players, and three Nigerians as well. With Iwobi, Vitzel, and Karsdor being the level 19 players, which I'm going to be completely honest, guys, uh, we're probably going to be able to get to these players like in two weeks. It's probably only going to take us 14 or 15 days for those of you that play the game very consistently like like I do um, you're probably going to be able to get to level 19 or 20 like within two weeks I think because this is a 20 day season I would imagine that a couple days before that or maybe even five six days before that we'll be able to get everything done there's a couple decent packs in here as well it's actually kind of nice with this being like a kind of a condensed season in my opinion because there's way less fluff right there's like a TIFO there's two TIFOs a home kit and a stadium theme but then every other level then that is a pack or a player and I kind of like that there's like not just random stuff in here that we'll be getting so I kind of dig that GG's EA I think the player selection is decent at level 19 uh Karsdorp is good I think a lot of people are really excited about Axel Witzel for the play style plus of Ariel he can play center back and center mid the work rates are a bit of a problem four star weak foot is good but a huge pace boost because I'm pretty sure his gold card has like 35 pace or something crazy like that so that's not a bad card, and especially when you think about, oh, we're going to be able to get this here pretty soon in like the next two, two and a half weeks. That's not too bad. So pick one of these, whichever one you like. I mean, they're they're okay cards. Onyeka looks kind of decent. Um, it will be looks all right, too. We've got the playstyle plus for incisive pass. Karsdorp, I think a lot of people might be interested in as well. Syria right backs, like that's a good card. And you can play right mid as well, right wing. So different flexibility with squad building. 94 attack positioning and 92 shot power. That's that's a decent card right there. So decent options here inside of the season. One thing I do want to mention, though, is with all those players from the same uh, league with the same nation, that might be EA hinting at our next promo after Centurions. I believe there was a leak for something called Triple Threat. So we just got three cards from the same nation from the same league. Could that somehow be a part of whatever promo is coming next with related to Triple Threat? after Centurion. So that's kind of yesterday's content in a nutshell, probably marquee matchups, um, maybe something else we missed as well since we're recording this early. But let's get into the Friday content because I don't think that what is going to happen on Thursday is really going to impact the market on Friday uh, or on Thursday that much. Let's talk about the big SBC that's coming, we think, today. Now, if this drops on Thursday, then we'll just go over it quick. But La Liga Player of the Month, expecting it to drop today on Friday because that is when it was dropped last time. Wait for an EA tweet. Guys, the EA, again, EA FIFA, uh, not FIFA, EA Sports is the official sponsor of La Liga, right? So they're going to be tweeting out every one of these player of the months every single month, I do believe. And I would imagine they're going to tweet out this Jude Bellingham as well. Uh, it is leaked, of course. It just kind of comes down to when is it going to be dropped? I really do believe that this is going to be an 800,000 to 900,000 coin SBC. And uh, yeah, I mean... It's going to be interesting to see where that makes his inform and where it makes his Trailblazers card go. But all I do have to say is, like, man, um, 
it's going to be an SBC that a lot of people want to do because it's Jude, it's hype. I mean, we've had some decent Real Madrid links recently. People evoing Chameni, the Rodrigo that is still decently fresh into people's teams. Real Madrid links are always hype. So I think people are going to do Jude regardless. And the stuff that's going to move the most on the market, in my opinion, is your higher rated fodder. We've been talking about it. It's up maybe just a little bit right now, 26K uh, for 88s. 20 what is it 39k for 89s and 54k for 90s this is going to be the part of the market that could rise the most potentially if this jude bellingham player of the month is released and if it does get released at a, like a pretty good price which i would say i don't know if it's like 800k and below uh, or maybe even 700k or below that would probably make this stuff go up a little bit more and your high rated fodder shouldn't be too impacted by the lightning rounds maybe a little bit it would more be impacted if there's panic selling if the jude sbc is like crazy expensive and like nobody is doing it which i think at least some people would because it's jude uh but panic selling would be the biggest thing to impact high rated fodder so watch out for that today could be a decent place to trade with fluctuations on it if we get supply but then people still go and start doing jude could go back up a little bit after content but let's talk about centurion's team too right the cards coming into packs today i think guys that the icons that we're getting today look better than the first team i don't know about you but eusebio zico first promo card of the year for him maka lele that's going to be a cheaper card that i think is going to end up being really good in game i mean his uh, regular icon cards always very popular zanetti i think zanetti is going to be a card that a lot of people get excited for uh especially if he maintains that center defensive mid uh position like his um base icon has now this is what i'll tell you if any of you guys own these icons um like if you own zanetti i would sell this card man i would he's down a little bit since last week but i think this card is going to drop more just take like kuman for example kuman last week his base icon card was 242,000 coins the new kuman comes out and is uh like the same price or cheaper than what his old icon was because the pack weight on these is actually not that bad i would be careful if you own any of these icon cards even if it's one of the lower tier ones, like Ashley Cole would be the same thing. He's probably going to be pretty packable. Trezeguet is probably going to be pretty cheap. Zanetti's probably going to be like 400,000 coins, maybe 500k. Um, Makalele as well. Like, I don't think his card's that much. Maybe four to 500k as well. 525. So, like, I would imagine that his promo icon card dropping today would probably be like 600k, just a little bit more expensive. Like, I think that'll make the base icon drop. So just be careful with that and watch for those drops. Um, even on Zico and Eusebio, probably going to happen as well. But this team looks decent from the icon sense of things. And especially for the regular Centurions cards, I have a little bit of hype here, I think. Bonmati leading the charge is one of the most hype cards for this release. Musiala, watch out for some of those Byron links. Tony Cruz, right? There's a couple cards in here. Tony Cruz and... Um, uh, who's the center back that I just looked at? Uh, Tiago Silva. Tiago Silva. Both of those cards, if EA give him the right boost, if they give him the pace boost, right? Tiago Silva needs to have like, right, do they actually both have 51 pace? They do. So if Cruz and Tiago Silva both get like 75 pace plus today as a part of this promo, which I think EA should at least boost them up to 70. We don't for 75 plus. That could be some nice cards that people would want to go and try. Angel Correa, Timo Werner. We're getting a lot of, like, that. those two cards right there, to me, speak to, like, a striker level on this game that is maybe, like, I don't know, two to 300,000 coins for a striker card. So if you own a striker card that's in that range, maybe you just be a little bit more careful. I know I'm looking up Joao Pedro right now. That was the first card that comes to mind. I don't think a Joao Pedro would crash like crazy because of that. Of course, this is still a live item. That's getting upgrades in the future or has potential to get upgrades. I don't think he would necessarily crash because of an Angel Correa or Timo Werner just on the market. But other strikers maybe could drop a little bit because those are those are big names that people like to use. Correa, Werner, those are known as overpowered players. Musiala, uh, a nice set of German players actually being released in this promo team. And watch out for more leaks. I think it's going to be very similar to Team 1, guys. And like the Team 1 Centurions cards... I'm, I'm actually still thinking that these cards are okay prices. And I know content last week was um, pretty good. And that maybe helped these cards get to be a little bit cheaper than what we originally thought they were going to be. But like Pedri being 250k, I don't think is a bad price. Like I think these cards are semi-packable, kind of like the icons. And last week's promo team, semi-affordable. Of course, you got Rashford and Mendy as, as heavy hitters in there. And you got the icons as well. But 
Felipe Anderson, Lacazette. I think that Correa and Werner would probably be more than Lacazette because they would have more pace. But like this is this is not a terrible promo team, especially for the prices that they are. I expect more of the same today. Now SBCs. I think the SBCs really have to carry the hype today, guys. And if we're gonna get an SBC for a player. The one that is leaked right now that seems the most likely to be happening is a leak that we've actually had for a long time. And EA, remember, did include it in the week of content that was to come. They said there was a Centurion's Icon Player SBC that was coming. In my opinion, it could be Vidic today on a Friday. I mean, usually they drop regular promo card SBCs on a Friday, but it very much so could be a Vidic today, and that would be a pretty hype SBC. Of course, last week we had Odegaard, which some people thought was good. Some people were thought was just okay. I was in more of the okay camp there for me, but Vidic would be very... Uh, SBC would be very possible to drop today as well. So keep an eye out for that. Um, if you did Blanc, I don't think you did anything wrong. Blanc is still amazing. Vidic will just be another card that a lot of people want to do. And again, another reason to watch a little bit of higher rated fodder. But EA's got to drop something hype today, man. Um, because they're competing now with OG Fortnite. I know I've been talking about that a lot, but it's true. Like today is the OG Fortnite update day. And um, yeah, they got to fix up EA today. You, you got to drop something hype to get players, the key players on your game uh also today this might be the biggest sbc max 87 hero upgrade it's refreshing i know that like right there it doesn't say that it's refresh it is when it first was dropped it said we could do it two times and it was going to refresh again today on friday so watch out for this remember what happened when the max 87 hero was released last time 84s went to the freaking moon so the question is should you invest in 84s Already 3,000 coins. They've dropped a little bit with like rivals rewards. I mean, they were 3.5k like all week. I mean, guys, last week when this SBC dropped, they were 2k and now they're 3,000 coins. If 84s were to ever get down to a price of like 2,500 coins, that would be a place where I would say mm, maybe that's investable for them to go back up to like 3.2 or 3.3k with this SBC being out over the weekend. I just worry about it a little bit because you know, on Promo Fridays, the amount of packs that are in the store, the amount of supply for packs that's going to be hitting today, 84s get packed a ton. So I'm not going to go out and tell you to invest in 84s. If they do spike, it would probably happen right after content in the first hour, the two hours after the content drop when this SBC refreshes, because that might be, it probably will be the most hyped SBC that people are doing on this game today. So I don't know if I would invest in 84s unless they're low right before the content drop. Just keep an eye on that because there probably will be some drops before content as people open their foot champs rewards right before the content still with good cards and packs. Watch for objective leaks um, and XP as well. If maybe there's a chance for a cup, I feel like uh, it said in the uh, EA little message that they put out about content. A cup is actually very possible. They said there's going to be a new friendly mode. I don't know if that would drop today or if that would drop uh, tomorrow on Saturday. Either of those is possible sometime during the weekend. I think we're getting a friendly mode Centurions Cup. Maybe stock um, a Centurions card in your club discard if we're needed to use one in that cup. I wouldn't expect it, but you know it's possible. So maybe stock one of those in your club. It's always good as well. I know we mention this often, but it's always good to club stock discard items. Also today, speaking of the discard Centurions cards, watch out for the 84 or 85 rated cards that could be put into the Centurions upgrade evolution, right? Andrich Muniain. There's only like five cards. Dunk um, and maybe uh, Moses Simon. I forget who um, is able to be put into that evolution, but there's probably going to be some more that are in packs today that will be added to that Evo. And if you pack one, then you'll be able to put it in. I wouldn't be surprised if a card like Lewis Dunk actually starts to rise out of packs. It would depend on how good Tiago Silva is today, how cheap he is, and if Lewis Dunk is going to end up being the best evolution card to put in that Evo, the Evolutions Centurions upgrade. So just keep an eye on that card. That could be one that rises out of packs if if there's no other good fodder cards that get released today. Now, evolutions in general, am I expecting a new evolution today? Because again, like we mentioned, that was the reason why there was hype last week. It was the box-to-box -box evolution that made things go crazy on this game. I'm personally not expecting one because there's, there's a lot here, guys. There's just a lot to do, especially in terms of number of games. But I mean, technically, it is possible. It is very possible that we could get a new Evo or two um today on friday if we haven't had any 
other new ones um, from the new season happening, which we don't yet, but maybe there was one of the, who knows. Uh, that's possible today. I wouldn't say a high chance, but who knows, right? EA been going crazy with the Evos recently, so we'll see what they do. Now, how is all this going to impact the market? I'm going to keep my coins pretty liquid. I've been trading with a couple of Team of the Week Renards recently. Um, guys, I don't, I don't know, man. I, I think today with the Hero Pack being probably one of the biggest pieces of content that we see dropped in this game, I, I don't think that bodes well for the market. Think about what happens every Sunday when, when we get those Hero Packs or the Icon Packs. We see the market drop, right? We can even go take a look at the graph back to Sunday when we had it last time. Varon was 63K, went all the way down to 58. He's still 57, 58K, and he's actually up a little bit from Rivals Rewards. Um, you know, I, I think the market will probably dip a little bit right after content, and after that, there could be some buyback as people go out and play champs. One of the trends that we've noticed recently with a lot of different cards is the cards rise, like especially the cards that are just going out of packs. Remember last week, Robertson rose up, Marquinhos, Harry Kane last week. I made some, would have made coins on if I would have sold them at the right time. It's that window, like two to three hours after content, right? For the last Friday for Harry Kane, he was down at 360. I bought him at 350 something thousand coins. After content, even though content was like decent last week, he went up to like 380,000 coins. 385 he was. This kind of like two or three hours after content seems to be kind of a time to sell cards if you buy anything around content in a drop. This is actually not a bad time to sell cards because after that, things just start to drop off. And I know last week was, you know, the 150k Evo, so that dropped prices. I remember Neymar last week went down really low, bounced back really nice, and then, you know what, he was 300k, 306k, and you see where he is now, 250 So... I'm not expecting like a huge crash this weekend, like last weekend. Um, I don't, I don't think it's honestly going to be as hype, guys. Just to be completely honest, I don't think we're going to have another 150k Evo. If we do, we do. But I'm not seeing Usman Dembele going down another 30,000 coins this weekend. I think the prices will be a bit more steady. Uh, but I still think you'll see some drop offs. So just kind of know that that maybe hour, two, three after content will be a peak time, especially if any of the Centurions start to rise out of packs. That could be an opportunity that you look to sell some of those cards. Or if you're trading with anything else, again, if you're trading today on this game, always stick to the out of packs, guys. Always stick with it. It's the best, it's the safest place to be. Out of packs informs Kingsley Coman. You think about Timo Werner coming in the game today. You think about Musiala. This might be a really good card to trade with, right? He goes down to 180K, goes back up to 190, like almost every single freaking day. Maybe Kingsley Coman, you see like under 180 today in this game. And then maybe he goes back up to like 195 or 197, maybe 200K because he has a little bit more hype with the Musiala links with the Timo Werner Bundesliga hype as well. That's just something to kind of keep in mind, right? Trading with and around the cards that people are getting most hyped and excited for with the brand new promo team dropping. So guys, I'll be saying it again. I'm not expecting a massive promo Friday today. I think it's going to be a solid day, but if EA want to surprise us, they, they'll surprise us. Watch the store. There will definitely be more store packs um, and maybe craft up some Centurions upgrades. That's something that's a little different about today too. People could be saving these upgrade packs for the content drop today. And if you want to buy gold commons, um, they're not a ton of packs, I don't think, in the store that will be dropping gold commons. But if gold commons drop at all today on Friday, that would be a good number one, an investment. If these cards go down to like, I don't know, if you can get them on bid for 400 or I mean, even they're down a little bit right now it's at 500. If you can get these gold commons for four, 350 to 400 over the weekend, especially on Friday, that could be a good investment or a good time to build up some of those three player packs, complete the Centurion's objective and get yourself some packs to rip for uh, this brand new promo and get that objective done. So that's going to be the video for today, guys. If you did enjoy, smash the thumbs up on a comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan for the count. See you guys in a video soon. Peace.